Hi guys, how you all doing? It's me, Paul Diaz. I believe, guys, by the time I upload this video, it should be already Mother's Day. So I would like to say Happy Mother's Day uh, to all mothers from all over the world. Uh, and also for the one, my mother bed there in area. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. So, what are we going to be doing today, guys, that from panel fish? Uh, there have been some people close to my wife to me and asking me, uh, uh, what is the recipe of my pompano? I mean, how do I make it taste so delicious? And there is a way, and I'm going to show you now how to make it. So stay tuned and watch this. Don't miss this chapter, guys, because oh my God, I feel so sorry for the fish. He came so far to end up in my plate. What can we do? All right, guys, so here I am, along with my friend, the Pompano Fish, and I get this guy in TNT Supermarket. It cost me around $7. He used to be a happy fish. Who knows? Oh, God, how are you guys? I'm ready for my cooking. All right, so I've been defrosting this uh, Pompano Fish, guys, for overnight. On, in the refrigerator, what I do, I, I always defrost my fish with ice on top on the lower part in the refrigerator. Uh, uh, that's what I suggest you should do. Never uh, defrost a fish under hot water. No, that's not the right procedure. It has to be, it has to be in cold water with ice in the refrigerator. I just sit it here for a little while before... Uh, doing their marinade. So now guys, what we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna show you how to cut the fish and marinate the fish. All right guys, so here I got, got the pompano fish. Isn't this a beautiful fish? It is for me guys, a beautiful fish. And guys, I already have cleaned the, the, this fish. The, so I already sliced it in two. I cut it in two. So guys, the good thing about this fish is it is don't really have any guts at all. It's very easy to clean. And another good thing about this fish is that it does not contain practically any spines. It only has a backbone and that's it. So what we're going to do next, guys, guys, right now we're going to be to marinate the fish. So I'm going to show you what, what am I using to marinate my pompano fish. So I'm going to show you exactly what I got here. I'm gonna use for that, guys. Uh, this is around four tablespoons of vinegar. I'm gonna use for that four tablespoons of lime juice, salt and pepper to taste. It depends upon upon you guys how much you would like to put on it. In my case, I will use one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper all together. I'm going to use soy sauce. This is around a uh, three tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm going to rub it with minced garlic, depending upon you, how much garlic will you like to put. I'm only going to use garlic. Maybe this is like around four tablespoons. You can put less if you want. And also we're going to use the butter later on. And we're going to use for that also for the rubbing cooking uh, oil. I use this canola oil. So now what we're going to do guys, we're going to transfer the fish in the containers and start doing the marinade. So I got this container, I'm going to put half here and I'm going to put the other half in the other one. That's it. Now the first thing we're going to start putting the liquids first. Liquid first, vinegar first, put the vinegar. Make sure, you know, vinegar, cover all the parts. After that, we're going to put the soy sauce. After that, a little soy sauce on the other half. So that way you will absorb all those juices. 
Guy, I would like to let you know, guy, uh, know something. Guy, the, the secret of the flavor of most uh, food and also the fish is on the marinade. The longer you keep the, the meat and the fish on the marinade, the well it will taste, the better. My case, if you can leave it a little up to 24 hours, it will be even better. Now we're gonna put the lime juice. Lime juice. Now we're gonna put the salt and pepper. Make sure, huh? Putting on both sides. Also here. All right. That's how it is. Now we're gonna put the garlic on it. Garlic. And we're gonna let that work there, guys. We're gonna let them sit for at least uh, two hours. My, like I tell you guys, you can leave it up to 24 hours in the refrigerator. Uh, it will be even better. So the next thing, guys, we're gonna put them on the, we're gonna get ready, guys, to bake the fish using the molding pan. I'm gonna show you what to do now. So, all right, guys, what we're gonna do next, uh, we're gonna need parchment paper. We need parchment paper, cut it around, and this is the disposable baking pan that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use two, well, for half of the fish, the other half on the other one. So we're gonna do now, guys, to butter, to butter the parchment paper, where we're gonna place the, the fish. This is how we're gonna take the, the flavor. This is part of the secret. After that, we boil the everything, and then we're gonna put it here in the baking pan. We're gonna boil the next one now. Put butter here, not butter. Well, that's the way I think. This is how we're gonna take the taste, guy. All those flavor combine all together. All together, gonna make a big, big fusion of. A wonderful flavor another pan now we're gonna do now we're gonna put the fish there the fish is already been marinated already for a few hours two hours it would be better like I said you put it a whole longer way longer than that guy I put it now you can put the the marinade on top it will take all that flavor, don't throw anything away. See, there you go. Then now, place the other part. The other part. Oh my God, kind of weak this one. Oh my God. Now we're gonna put the marinade also. All right guys, after this, what we are gonna do now? We're gonna put them in the oven now for around uh, for around 40 minutes and 450 degrees. All right, guys, we're about to put the fish in the oven now. So what we're gonna do now to make it cook even, we're gonna put foil. We're gonna cover them with foil. So that way it will cook even. When you put the foil, you're gonna cook even in both sides. And the flavor is going to be better. So in foil. You can make little holes if you want on top. Not too many. Alright. So now we're going to put them in the oven now. Yeah, we're going to put it now in the oven. Ready to bake, guys. And I see you guys later. See you guys in 40 minutes. Guys, the the pompano fish is ready. I'm, I'm gonna get it out from the oven right now. Alright. 
I'll show you now the final outcome. That's it. This is the Pompano fish, guys. Completely cooked. Very good, well seasoned, marinated, crusty, flaky, buttery, delicious. Waiting for you guys to prepare it. So, guys, thank you for watching. And please subscribe. And please uh, look me up with my next review. I'll be uploading a new video you know, every week. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.